After five months overseas, Army Sergeant Jonathan Duncan is finally reunited with his family and holding his seventh child, four-month-old Riker, for the first time. His wife was pregnant when he left, and he wasn't able to come home for his son's birth. It's going to take some adjusting for him to figure out who I am. Different, different face feeding him. <laughs> but, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Just moments before this reunion that brought tears to onlookers, Amanda Duncan had her seven kids lined up at Charlotte Douglas Airport, American flags in hand, ready to greet who they thought was one of their dad's friends returning home. How are you? Good. Been the man of the house? Yes, sir. All right. The emotions of seeing their dad home safe after his second deployment were overwhelming. It's been tough. Um, it's been really tough, but never thought I'd make it home. <laughs> Now the Duncan family has plans to spend some quality time together. Going to the beach. You can see more of that heartwarming reunion on our website. Be in it. Uh, that's good. Good. Thank you. Feels weird to see trees. <laughs> 
I wonder why your grandma was here. <laughs> It was mission accomplished for this soldier. His son had not seen him for an entire year. A flood of emotions, uh, excited, nervous, uh, hoping his reaction was was good. 100 fifth graders filled the gym at Scottville's Upper Elementary School. They all thought they were coming to an assembly to hear me talk about my job as a reporter, a cover up for something much more special. The tear ducts working, the chest tightening up just to see that because I knew the excitement for Brandon and what that meant to him was just the world. The idea for this big reveal came over the weekend when Brandon found out his dad would not be coming home on a bus with other soldiers. Brandon was devastated. The devastation quickly turned to joy thanks to teachers, family and friends. I jumped up and hugged him. Hi buddy, uh, are you surprised? And he agreed, yeah, he said yeah, he was surprised. He was pretty choked up. An emotional moment for this little boy. A relief to see his father, his hero, home safe and sound. In Mason County, Lauren Amstead's 7 and 4 News. Hi, Lauren. How are you? Hi, hey, Mom. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> Hi, Emma. <laughs> Look who's behind you. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting! Yay! <laughs> you guys glad to see him? <laughs> <laughs> They're big, huh? They're gonna make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to go home? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Emma. Come on, Emma. Now we're making you stay here. <laughs> <laughs> go get your. You guys can go get your stuff. So go home. Okay. Crazy shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Can we walk back down? Oh, Thank you. 